So, first off, we're gonna make a fish dish. It's tilapia, and then I make kind of a pico or a sausage kind of a thing with corn and uh, oregano and veggies and lemon lime zest, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do first off is cut up some of the bell peppers. I like to use a lot of color. So that, that's all we'll need at that one. Cut them long and thin first. And into the bowl. Then let's do some orange bell pepper. And then I'm gonna pan sear them. Same thing with these small pieces. How about some red? Do it long first. Oh, my finger! No, I'm just kidding. All right. All right. And then into the bowl. Now I want to do some shallots or some you know, green onions. Add a little bit of color. That's about enough, I think. Now I like to use these Anaheim chili peppers. This is all I've got left of one, but this should be plenty. Just take the green part. Another thing that adds a little punch, some radishes. Optional, of course. All this is optional because uh, I made it up. I think a couple of these radishes would be good. Again, it also adds a little color, which makes stuff look nice. Oh, it's an ugly little piece. I don't want no homely radishes all up in my salsa pico. Stuff. Now, I like to add a little tomatoes, tomatoes, um, depends on how stuck up you are, what do you call them? Actually, I don't know anybody that calls them tomatoes, but, and if, if I did, I probably don't like them a whole lot, but anyway, not the tomatoes, but the person calling them tomatoes. That's plenty. All right, and I want to do a little bit of finely chopped cilantro. This is what really uh, vibe to the dish. And then into I'm going to do a little bit of lemon zest. Cilantro trying to escape. Back in there. So I will squeeze some of the lemon in. And the same thing with lime. Some lime zest. All right, now that noise tells me that my fish is ready to start searing. So I'm gonna heat it up, heat the pan up, get some extra virgin olive oil, but just lightly coat the bottom. And on high heat, some of fish, my tilapia in the pan. Sounding good, huh? And I actually, right off the bat, I'm gonna hit it with some seasoned salt, paprika, fresh red pepper.
to the black pepper. And actually, in addition to the black pepper, I'm going to do some lemon pepper. Turn the heat down, turn the vent on. I like to keep the fish moving. Because I cook this fast. And I like my fish a little bit more crispy. Now, oh, that's... And then I'm going to stir up the veggie mix with the oregano and the lemon zest and the lemon juice and the lime zest and tomato and shallots and different colored bell peppers and the little Anheim hot pepper. And now I'm going to get some balsamic, add in the little veggie mixture. salt. Stir in that balsamic a little bit. Now, here's what makes this sort of south of the border and you know, Mexican meets Caribbean. First off, it's more Caribbean because it is a fish dish or whatever. Mexican stuff, you know. But I'm going to throw in some corn. Stir that in. You can see all the colors. You can smell all the flavors. Right, now I'm turning my fish over. I'm throwing some more pepper and pepper and seasoned salt, paprika, regular salt on it and I like to coat it till you see like a red tint to it. Then I throw on the lemon pepper really generously. And a itty bitty bitty bit brown pepper. Just a little bit. Put out some mixed greens. A little bit, a little spritz, not much. Balsamic, not much, it's still make a mess. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a couple of strips of some of the colored bell peppers. my fish from the heat because like I said I like to cook it a little bit longer than other people. I'm also going to do a tomato a little bit. Now what I do is I put down a bed That pico, as you can tell, pretty. Then a couple of pieces of the gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Tilapia in a Caribbean style.